hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to talk about how we can create custom connector with a custom code or with script base in many of my earlier videos i have talked about creating of a custom connector using apis uh, rest apis with the oauth authentication or even with the no authentications or calling any apis which resides into my company's intranet on on premise enabling the on-premise gateway to make that connection but in this video we are going to create a uh, one custom connector which would be executed based on the past code based on the script which we are going to pass rather than calling any apis so that's we are going to have a look today so i am going to go to make.powerautomate.com and i'll click on more and i will click on discover all so that we can find the custom connector option so over here we have custom connector so I can just spin this up so that I can start getting this into my left navigation if I click on this I get an area where I can create my custom connectors and as I said like in this video we are going to take help of code to execute to do some operation so I am going to start by creating a blank and I'll just name that as HTML to text converter so in our example what we are going to do we are going to pass the html and we want to convert that html to the plain text so in many of the scenarios where we are working with sharepoint list we are working with the multi-line text column which actually supports the rich text i want to filter all the html and just get the plain text out of that column so this could be one of the requirement where you wish to create any uh, this custom connector or maybe like other connectors can also support that side so sort of content conversion where you can convert the text to HTML or HTML to text so but uh, I am taking this example as a demo you may be having like multiple other scenarios where you wish to have your C-sharp code executed when you want this custom connector operation called so I'll just click on continue give the description as html to text converter and i will not upload any custom image or any color i'll just leave this as is and over here in the scheme i would i would just name it as anything so i don't wish to call any host name there's no https call which we are going to do so just for the sake of writing i'm just adding up this host name and in the security part because we are going to run this some custom code or some uh, custom script so no authentication is required so i'll just directly go to the definition and in the definition we'll start adding up action and in action i would say just html to text and i'll use the same name as operation id so that i can actually use to do the comparison operation into my code when whenever I'm writing a code so in description you can say convert HTML to text and we will directly go to the request part where I'll just click on the import from sample and as I said I, we would be executing one custom code so we want to pass the HTML as a request body to that call so we are going to use post and in post just give any simple url over there and in json body we are going to pass the json body with the, the parameter which we wish to consume while writing the code so i'll just say html so i did with this parameter i would be getting the html and then i'll convert this html to text and i'll just click on import and you can see in body i have this body tied up which we actually binded dynamically so if you click on this edit this one you will see like it's a html body parameter which we have written and i go back and this validation is success and directly i can go to code so over here right now by default this code detail code operation is disabled what you can do either you can paste your code directly over here or we can upload any file so over here just read out these instructions custom code transform request and response payload beyond scope of policy you can either paste in your code upload a file as a c-sharp file and have a maximum execution time of five seconds so 
So just remember not to write big big code. So and even cannot be more than one MB. So over here there is a script class which actually extended from six script based class and doing one async operation of execute async and doing this operation. So whatever we are going to write over here. So right now it's example of hello world. But I'll just open my VS code where we have copied one example of from GitHub which actually uh, is extending the script base and what it does is it's actually taking the input request as from this this context request dot content and take that as a string then do a parse JSON using J object parse it's parsing that JSON and ultimately in the output string it replaces all the HTML tags which we are finding in the code so for example is replacing this all the table then div header li ui everything is being replaced with these uh, tags and then finally as a response we are getting a plain string out of this so very simple code so i'm just copying this entire piece and we'll go back to our this code details i'll just simply paste it and we have to enable the code mode and then list of action you can select which list of action it should be tied up if you are having multiple and it's by default it's one so we can just bind it that to one and i can simply directly go to test and you must create the custom connector before doing so i'll just creating this custom connector and it may takes one to two minutes because it's custom code it requires time to compile the code and validate it before saving so our custom connector saved successfully now we going to test it so i'll just open any of my sharepoint site i'll just pick this uh, let's say any html so i'll just inspect the element and we'll pick or copy the text html part of it so let's say i'm just going to copy a bit bigger html let's say this one i'll just copy this entire element it's a html element and i will paste this into html input html and i have to create a new connection before that so just creating it and we can do a test operation and we got it status as 200 that's a success so this entire html is converted into this plain text so now we are good we can start using this connector into our any actual flow so for that I have created one of my custom list where I have this description column as a rich text column and we are going to bind our flow whenever item is created and going to read the HTML value or the, the input from this column and then convert that into plain text. So I'll just quickly create one power automate so that we can leverage or use our custom connector. I'll just go to create one instant cloud flow and in trigger i'll just say when an item is added and i'll just connect to my sharepoint list and in next step i'll choose my custom activity which we created and i'll just type in html to text converter and i'll use this custom activity i'll input the as my description field as an input for HTML and we'll just run this just to see our result which we get out of it I'm just quickly creating item into my test list and I'll just directly go to this HTML part so I'll just pick this sample HTML from any of this HTML so I'll just copy this one and paste it into our this column and we'll just wait for our flow to trigger so our flow ran successfully I'll just click on it and we'll just go inside to our flow and we'll look at the input and output so the input was HTML with this entire big div and the output we have got as a plain text so we have concluded our this custom connector for converting HTML to plain text using custom code. So that's it for today's video. If you have any questions and if you like the video, please do drop your comments. 
and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.